Thanks very much, Dave. We're going to find a little bit more about number five, Heathen Hall, in this upcoming third race. We're joined by Bob Crivelin, who is the owner of Heathen Hall, and Bob is also an avid amateur driver, and this is a son of Incredible Abe, and Incredible Abe sure could trot. Can this colt get around to? Oh, this, whole, this colt can really trot, and uh, he's a very good closer, so we told Dave that, and hopefully he'll race him from behind and uh, have a good showing. I mean, we're going to pick up a check. Yeah, that's for sure. You get a couple toughies in here, though, and super spicy in Brad's photo. Brad's photo has had a braking problem lately, though, and uh, your colt seems like he's gotten over his braking problems. Yeah, well, we, we hope so. We straightened a couple of things out on him. We have a gating strap on that uh, sulky, and uh, we hope it works out for us. Now, right now you're spectating today, but on Wednesday you will be driving tomorrow in the Billings Amateur Series, and you've had a lot of success in that series. Oh, yeah, that's the big one for me where I get to drive, and... Uh, Hopefully I'll do well tomorrow. I'm, uh, I'm pretty close to the top. I'm up. Uh, I'm in the top ten. Last year I was. Uh, I missed first place by half a point. So uh, I'm hoping to do well tomorrow. Half a point is about as close as you can get, by the way, too, to a dead heat there. Now this is one of the great uh, stories about harness racing. People that uh, get involved can be actively involved with the actual jogging and training and even driving of horses. And you started out as just a racing fan, did you not? That's true. As uh, as a kid, I used to go to Yonkers Raceway when they uh, got 20,000 every night. And then uh, I moved on. I started watching the races at the Meadowlands and went from there. Now, you have the biggest food distributing business in, uh, in the New York, New Jersey area, do you not? It's the largest in Manhattan, the largest uh, food distribution in Manhattan. So what finally prompted you to buy a horse? You just watched the races, gambled on them, said, you know, I'd like to own one of those? Well, that's about it. I was going out before the races, and I was uh, getting pretty good at picking out a good-looking horse, and I said to my partner, why don't we buy one, and we did. And you got hooked up with trainer Jim Doherty, the master trotting horseman, and he has really helped you along, has he not? Yeah, well, actually, it's uh, Jim Doherty Jr., and his father was in the next barn, and his father did help me out a great deal, but, uh, you know, I have to give all the credit to uh, Junior Doherty, actually, who's also, as far as I'm concerned, a master uh, in terms of trotters. Now, you went back to the barns and said, boy, that looks like fun. Could I jog one? Is that how you got going? Yeah, that's about it. I asked them if I could sit behind one, and we sat behind a nice, easy pacer called Summer Sizzle. Uh, and she was, uh, he was a gentle horse, and uh, I hopefully I have soft hands out of doing that. Now, when did you actually start driving in races? I started that same year. I uh, trained for about four months, sitting behind horses every single day, and then uh, drove in that Billings, I guess, uh, the end of May. I started in January and drove in May. And from that, you've expanded into sort of a, a weekly regular, I guess, at the Meadowlands. You have a couple trotters of your own that you drive with on a regular basis and are very competitive with. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's a lot of fun driving against the guys who are real uh, experts at it. You know, you really, uh, it helps to hone your skills, and uh, it's a thrill. How long did it take you to feel comfortable driving against John Campbell and Luke Willett and Mike Lachance and all the big names? Well, I can't say that I still feel that comfortable driving driving against them, uh, but it's a thrill, and uh, you know, it, it it took a long while till I was comfortable enough not to be nervous. So it took uh, a good year anyway. Well, you've conducted yourself very well on the racetrack. We'd like to wish you the best of luck in the upcoming race with Heathen Hall. And right now, we'll send it back to the infield to Dave Bianconi.